Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Today I'm going to look at an iOS application that helps keep you music fans on top of new releases for artists that you love, add music from them directly to your Apple Music playlists, as well as catch up on artist news and concerts in your local area. And that's Music Harbour. Music Harbour is developed by Marcos Antonio Tanaka and is free to use. However, there is a one-off purchase that you can make for $6 that unlocks all content. And as I've purchased this add-on previously, you'll be seeing the app in all its glory. I'll cover at the end what the one-off add-on cost gets you. So here we are. This is actually my live device because I want to use a live Apple Music subscription to show you everything this app is capable of. I've just reinstalled the app and deleted my iCloud data for it. So we're going to be opening it from scratch now. I'll tap. And the first thing Music Harbour wants to do is import some artists. We can look to import from Apple Music or import them manually. Now, I don't fancy doing it manually, so I'll tap the top option. And then we can choose between Apple Music or a local music library. I'll select Apple Music, which of course results in a pop-up asking for permission for the app to access my music library. I'll tap OK. The Music Harbour starts connecting to Apple Music to pull the artists into your library. Now I have a fair amount here, I think it's just over 200. And that's because I listen to a lot of Apple Music curated playlists. And from here, I can choose which artists are going to be followed in Music Harbour. I can tap the artists individually. So I'll select Beck and Bon Iver. And in the top right hand corner, I can tap to follow these two artists. I want more information in Music Harbour though, so I'm just going to deselect these and elect to follow them all. And a notification appears to say I've imported 203 artists. I knew I was close with just over 200. I'll tap OK. And then I need to decide whether I want notifications or not from Music Harbour. So I'll allow them for now. And the main interface appears. At the bottom, there are sections for artists, releases, videos, concerts, and settings. And we're going to work through these one at a time. So let's go to artists first. And these are the artists that are currently being followed in Music Harbour. You can scroll down to find the one that you want. However, if you're following a lot of artists like this, then you may wish to use a search box at the top. So I'll start typing in a search for London Grammar because I know I'm following them. And a result appears. I'll tap. And now we have a page that shows the artist and their releases below. To the left of the artist avatar is a news button, which if I tap, takes us to a news page for the artists. I'll go back. And on the right of the avatar, you can elect to unfollow the artist if you're no longer interested in them. Below, all releases by the artist are shown, but you can filter between albums, singles, and EPs. If you tap on one of the releases, you get a few more options. Firstly, we can go to the instance in Apple Music itself. I can add the tracks to my library from here, of course, but if I go back, the option to the right is to add to my library directly here from Music Harbor, which saves going into Apple Music itself. On a similar note, to the right of that, I can add to one of my Apple Music playlists. So I'll add this to my chill list. I'll tap done and cancel to come back to the artist page. If you want to follow a new artist, then tap the plus button and type in the name. Let's think of someone that I definitely am not following. I oh, know, Slipknot. And there, I'll tap the result. And from here, I can tap to follow them if I like. And then I can tap again to unfollow which is great as I'm sure some people find them, it's not for me. Okay. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So. If you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.